Alright boys, I'm going to show you a quick video on how to make plates, 3D model plates for 5M. There's a lot of gatekeepers out there that don't show this stuff. Um, they charge you a, a shit ton of money for a 3D plate that you can make yourself in less than 5 minutes. There's not a single video on YouTube that shows you this. Um, that shows you how to make 3D plates, I'm going to show you for free. You can use free softwares. Um, obviously, it takes less than five minutes once you know what you're doing. So you're gonna need Blender 4.1, um, Solemns, and Code Walker, and obviously the plates, which I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. There'll be a download link to the plates and the textures that I use myself. Um, obviously, a step-by-step -step tutorial on what you what you what to do. So I've imported my plate on my car. Um, obviously, hopefully you know how to obviously import it straight away. You just hold V when you've got Solemns, import Code Walker. Um, I can make another video on how to um, set up Solemns if, obviously, if people are struggling that way. Um, but anyway, I've imported my plate and my car, and now we're gonna make the plate for the car in less than five minutes. So you're gonna want to line your you play it up with the car. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best to make it in line. Obviously, half the plates inside the car, so I'm going to move it forward a bit. If you, you get different angles on on your plate, use your middle mouse button to move around, etc. Line it up the best you can. Go rotate it a bit to the that side there we go um, we'll just leave it like that for now it's only for the video just to show you how to do it but my plate's lined up so I want to make it a bit bigger actually uh, like that yeah we'll do that now you're going to want to hold shift and click the little eye eye symbol on your vehicle so that they'll hide your vehicle like that so you're just working with your plate you're going to want to hold shift and A text get your text obviously you want to try and move it like where you plate the front of your plate is name it whatever you want on your plate I'm going to use YouTube t uh, let's put YouTube now you're going to want to go to this little A symbol here geometry in your extrude change it to 0 0.3 that's what I found that's best for me looks 3d modeled looks good in game and it's not too out there so yeah we're gonna do that then go to font regular you know press this white white folder here um, go to your folder obviously what you downloaded from the description be all there I'm gonna go to UK plate font put that one on so you got your UK style plate you can get other fonts as well, but I mainly just use UK font. So you're going to want to line this up as well. Line it up with the plate. Just like this. Try and line it up the best you can. Because obviously it's going to go into your 5M servers. So you want it to look decent on a car. So if it's like that, just use your your move tool when you your rotate tool, and obviously you can make it center, make it smaller. Oh, I've only just realised my plate is um my plate is upside down. So I'm gonna re re rotate the plate. Um, put this to zero. Never mind. Um, 76. Okay, it's, it needs rotating that this way. Uh, one eighty on this zero and zero. Nope. Okay, that should that'll do anyway. So you're gonna wanna 
line it up the best you can. There's a few tutorials on YouTube obviously on how to use Blender, so if you need to watch them first, so you know how to use the tools on Blender, then you can do that. This is just a plate tutorial for the 5M. So, I'm going to make it a bit smaller so it looks fairly nice. Uh, looks fairly decent to me. Yeah, it looks fairly decent. We'll keep it like that. We'll just center it a bit more so it's in the middle. Like that. Move it up a little tiny bit. There we go. Do it like that. So now. Once you've got your text aligned on on your plate, um, you want to select your text by just clicking your text. Make sure nothing else is highlighted up here other than your text. You want to right click on your text. You want to convert it to mesh. So you want to right click, convert to mesh. Then you want to want to join it to your plate. So you want to sh hold shift and just press your plate. You want to join it. So now your your text is joined onto your plate, so it's all one one object. And uh, now you're gonna want to hold Shift, click the eye uh, of your vehicle. So now you've got your vehicle back. Your plate's lined up still. Well, mine's a bit dodgy because of the way it is. And if you can't rotate it, if it just, just does stuff like this, if you set origin, so you right click set origin geometry you can put it back into the middle so you can rotate your plate a bit better so I'm going to rotate my plate a little bit just to get it back in line a bit that'll do so you're going to click your plate and you're going to want to hold shift and click something on your vehicle ideally something small like your bumper or your the back of your bumper or if you do the front plate maybe your grill on the front of your car or whatever so I'm just going to hold shift and click this part of the, of the truck uh, I'm going to right click I'm going to join it together so now my plate is joined to this part of the truck on the vehicle and now we're going to texture it so you're going to want to close this general thing here you want to go to drawables shader tools and you're going to want to scroll down until you see normal spec you want to create two shader materials so click it twice you're going to come to this little uh, material logo here on the right side. You're going to want to scroll down until you see normal spec and normal spec 001. These are the ones you've just created. So you're going to use these to texture your plate. So now you're going to want to go to the left hand side of your screen here underneath your blender logo. And you're going to want to find a crosshair and hold your left click in and just drag your mouse until you have two screens open. Then you're going to want to go to this tool here shader editor and you're going to want to go to find these diffuse sampler, spec sampler, bump sampler now you're going to want to click this white folder you're going to go to your folder that's got the textures in for the car so I use these ones so I'm going to use this one so this one's the colour so this is what you all use for the top diffuse sampler you're going to use your colour so you want to double click the colour then you want to do it again but this time you're going to click roughness so it's the same cut black, but obviously this is the roughness, that's the colour. So you're going to want to put roughness in the middle, colour at the top, and your bump sampler is going to be the same again, but the middle one this time normal. So the top one is your colour, the middle one's your roughness, and the bottom one's your normal. So now you now you've done that, you're going to want to go back to your vehicle, you're going to press tab to go into edit mode, click these little squares here, this is your f to select your faces so it's a bit easier you're going to want to hover your mouse button over the border so you're going to want to do your border to black right, so you're going to want to hover over it with your mouse press L on your keyboard and just do that all the way around the, the outside of the plate and obviously the inside this border here this little uh, spot here now that's all that's selected I'm going to click here, I'm going to click assign and if you can't see your texture, right, you want to click this little arrow here, 
like this. Make sure you've got this one selected, this white circle. Click texture, and now obviously your plate border is black. Now the same again, but with the 001 normal spec. You're gonna go off edit mode, go back to this, diffuse sampler, spec sampler, and bump sampler. You're gonna obviously want to do the same again, but with your yellow texture, which is this one. You really want to go use your color, which is the white one. Uh, I mean the yellow. Do the same again, but this time you're gonna use this one roughness. Same again. Textures, and then this one's your normal. You're gonna select your normal. Now go back to your vehicle again. Edit, so you press tab to go in edit mode. Make sure you got your face selected here. Now the same again, but for the inside this time you're gonna do. Hover over it, press L, 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 all the way across till it's all selected. Then you're gonna want to assign. Boom, assign. And now we've missed the text, so we'll do the text. But obviously, you want to press uh, back onto your normal spec, which is your black texture. Go back in edit mode. Click anywhere. So zoom out. Click anywhere here, whatever, just so it unselects it. Now you're gonna want to select your text and your uh, numbers whatever you've got on your plate won't worry about the back of the numbers or the letters because it's inside the plate so you don't, you don't have to worry about that really just make sure you get the outside and the middles that you can see in the game select it all assign that to black and now the plate is done the plate's on your car so now there's one more step and then you export it put into your game so you're gonna click here where your normal spec is scroll down to solemns texture parameters and then you wanna embed every single texture or these ones these two anyway then you do the same with this one embed 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 now that's the plate done on a car less than five minutes plates done took a bit longer because I had to rotate it but obviously if you, you you might not have to rotate it, it's whatever car you use, it's just a big truck. But anyway you've you've done that, so you wanna go here to where your car is, you're gonna right click it, select your hierarchy, you're gonna go to file and then export, code walker, and then export it to wherever you've um, put it. So mine's a YouTube test. I'm gonna export it into YouTube test. And just wait for it to export, it'll come up with a it might come up with an error, but the error's nothing to be worried about nothing to do with um, anything, it doesn't break nothing oh, I've clicked some here right there we go, there's the error, look don't worry about it, it's just because it's got high vertices because you've just put a plate onto your vehicle but I won't worry about it too much now, you want to open Coldwalker RPF Explorer and you're going to want to drag your XMLs, the ones you've just just exported from Blender you're going to want to drag them into code walker ah. wait for it to load wait for it to load come on there we go it's loaded so now you ha if you export both boom there your high YFT is your car that you're going to be able to see in game so this is your textures of it it doesn't really matter you won't see this in game but your plate is there, your plate's textured, your plate's on the car, it's done. So now, you're going to want to drag these into a folder that you're going to remember or replace them, but replace these ones, your new ones with the old ones in your vehicle folder and then just like so, drag it into your server so replace the ones, your, your original ones with the new ones you've put your plate on you want to put it into your server or wherever you're putting it into someone else's server so there I've put my new ones I've replaced my new my old ones with my new ones and now I'm going to spawn the vehicle so you're going to want to get your spawn code I'm going to restart the vehicle because uh, yeah, because I've already got my server started Oh, I'm sort of dead. Okay, now I'm going to spawn the car I've just put a plate on. You have to wait for it to load. 
and boom the car my truck spawned if you give it a second your plate will spawn as well so now my plate is on my vehicle and that's it done that's how easy it is to make a plate on 5m so don't fall for these um, plate makers on 5m that do your cars don't don't pay stupid prices five ten quid a plate is ridiculous you can make it yourself for free but obviously there's no video out on there out there on YouTube so nobody's gonna know how to do it because they gatekeep it so here's a video so there we go you get your plate job sorted I'm gonna leave a link in the description anyway to all the um, the links and the plate downloads so just download them, watch the video step by step and you'll get a play on your cart.